Hello everyone, welcome to my part one build of a 350mm Voron 2.4 based on the Blue Rolls kit. I've unpacked the frame extrusions, laid them out here, and sorted them in order by size. In addition, I got my electric screwdriver with hex bits. I've got an Allen wrench set, of which I'm only showing you one here. I've got the M5 by 16 screws here to screw these frames together. And I've got blue Loctite. It comes in a red bottle. Make sure you're using blue because if it's red, it's permanent. Now, I'm taking off the smallest three because they won't be part of the frame, so we won't be needing them. And we'll be using the rest here. We'll start the build with a single corner. To do that, we'll take two of these and one of the longest and we will attach these three to make our corner. We'll set these others aside for a moment. We're going to start by inserting the screws into the base rails um, just to make sure we don't strip any threads and essentially prepare to put some Loctite on. And so I'll open the Loctite it's really runny. You kind of really need to be careful with this and should have a napkin or something close by. I'm just putting a little dab on the threads. And closing it up so it doesn't spill all over my work area. And I'm going to screw these in uh, so the Loctite enters the threads but also to get these much closer to what I expect to actually attach the rails to, meaning the thickness of the rail. So we'll attach these two rails, just slide the bolt head into the track. I'm going to lay these down and connect them. It should make it easier. Um, I've got two hands. I'm also going to use these squares to make sure I have this set at a 90 degree angle and everything is flush and flat and straight. And then we'll tighten the bolt. Check it one more time. Make sure it's a nice 90 degree angle, as accurate as we can get it. And we'll make it a little tighter just to lock it in. So now we'll attach the next base rail, and this should give us a nice corner in three dimensions. I'm using the square again to try and make sure I get a nice 90 degree corner again and everything is aligned nicely. And when it looks aligned, we'll tighten the bolt to lock this in. Then I'm checking it again just to make sure nothing shifted or moved while I was tightening the bolt. And I'll torque it down a little more. I'm not making these super tight, just tight enough where everything is snug. Uh, the Loctite is on these screws, and it will help keep everything together. Um, vibrations, things like that, won't drive the screws out, so we should be okay here.
And now that these are tight, I want to check to make sure the uh, vertical extrusion is at 90 degrees as well. And again, everything should be nice and square. Um, we want to be really careful and get this right first. Um, otherwise, it could cause problems with our build later. To keep the assembly going, I'm going to insert the M5 bolts on the other ends. Um, again, doing this by hand so we don't strip threads. Be sure when you do this to keep adding the Loctite. You don't want vibrations to loosen up your frame. I'm taking the, the next longest extrusion. Um, this represents the next vertical and uh, we will attach that vertical and again, build this corner by corner. And I'm always using these squares to check squareness. Again, we want a straight and even frame. And then we add the next vertical. And then the next corner as we make our way around.
So as I finish the last bolt on the base, this is just some final truing, making sure things are square. We're of course going to add the final four that will represent the top of the cube, but we're not going to show that one. Just it's the same as this was. To finish off the frame, we're going to attach the bed extrusions that support the heated bed. And you simply use these last two extrusions and you need the M5 by 10 fasteners, the M5 by 16, the M5 shims, the end caps, and of course, some Loctite. And then we continue to add these end caps to the other three ends. So all four ends of the excursions have the caps on. And then we add the inserts, uh, the four inserts into the railing, into the slots in the railing. And uh, this doesn't have to be exact. Um, we'll be adjusting these a little bit later um, once we start to put the base cover. Once those are inserted, uh, we attach the rails with the remaining screws and the spacers. And we lightly tighten down the rails to the frame. At this point, we've completed the construction of the frame of the Voron 2.4. And please stay tuned. We have upcoming videos that show the completion of this build. If you found this video useful, please like it. If you find it interesting, even better, please subscribe. And um, thank you for tuning in. And we have another one coming up soon. Thank you, everyone.